before all this nastiness, I was going to tell you the story of how I was cut. You want to hear it still? I don't know. Do I? As a boy, I travelled with a troop of actors through the free cities. One day, in Mir, a certain man made my master an offer too tempting to refuse. I feared the man meant to use me as I'd heard some men used small boys, but what he wanted was far worse. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. With a hooked blade, he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts in a brazier. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. I still dream of that night. Not of the sorcerer, not of his blade. I dream of the voice from the flames. Was it a god, a demon, a conjurer's trick? I don't know. But the sorcerer called and a voice answered. And ever since that day, I have hated magic and all those who practice it. But you can see why I was eager to aid in your fight against Stannis and his red priestess. A symbolic revenge of sorts. Yes, <clears throat> I feel the need for actual revenge against the actual person who tried to have me killed, which will require a degree of influence, which you do not possess at the moment. But influence is largely a matter of patience, I have found. Once I had served the sorcerer's purpose, he threw me out of his house to die. I resolved to live. To spite him, I begged. I sold what parts of my body remained to me. I became an excellent thief and soon learned that the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Step by step, one distasteful task after another, I made my way from the slums of Mir to the small council chamber. Influence grows like a weed. I tended mine patiently until its tendrils reached from the Red Keep all the way across to the far side of the world where I managed to wrap them around something very special. The sorcerer. Hello, my old friend. It's been a long time. I have no doubt the revenge you want will be yours in time. If you have the stomach for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah!